everybody, welcome back. I know, I know, more train fever. Didn't think it was possible, but it is. I still haven't done like a good official USA series, so here it is. It's time, USA Train Fever. Now USA, the reason why I say that is it was actual free downloadable content from the actual game makers of Train Fever. A whole little downloadable content with new vehicles and new scenery and stuff like that. I'm going to jump away in uh, a minute or two and show you what mods I'm running. As you can see, there's no farms, and I'm using an awesome map. Not made by me, but it is a map you can download from trainfever.net. The Grand Canyon looks really amazing. Large map, and I'm telling you, large, large, large. Now, this train's just kind of for fun. Wouldn't actually make money. It goes from one side of the map all the way to the other, but it's... This gives you a little intro to the map and teases a little bit of what we're going to be doing, and it just looks amazing. Eventually, in my Let's Play of the USA series that we're going to be kickstarting now, I'd love to have a train line that does go along the Grand Canyon, and even some bridges that go over, but trust me, this is so deep that the bridges are just crazy money, maybe five, six million just to cross over even some of the little narrower sections but it just looks fantastic and uh, but it's gonna be a large map so I'm not gonna do too much overgrowth we're gonna always be concerned with our frame rates with this simulation of a game like this uh, and then still fingers crossed hoping to hear some news on what the next urban games is gonna be uh, so yes things are going well I hope things are going good for you I've been having some fun with just some uh, little turn-based strategy games, XCOMs, Age of Wonders, Masters of Orion, all those kinds of things, because we are the Masters of Orion. And uh, this is a beautiful shot here going over one of these bridges. This was about two million here. Look at the lovely road winding through the, the uh, canyon here. And I didn't make that road. That's actually just pre-made into this map so I'm gonna have the map seed and what's really cool with this game is not only can you get the maps from trainfever.net you can get saved games so this saved game right here this one it's gonna be April 1st I think I paused it in time before I built out this crazy track so don't worry you're not out of luck with money but you too can play along in the same exact map. You just have to load up the saved game. So I'll have that link below as well. It's something like Monty USA 1850, let's see map. Oh yeah, and the map seed is VRA6. The map seed is VRA6. I'll post that up above too, uh, because that does matter. Even though you're using the Grand Canyon map, uh, if you were to start it on your own, say, and you want to actually use the map seed and not use my save game, you can load up the map, and you can load up that map seed, and you should be in the same map as well. Uh, but now they do have it to where you can kind of trade saved games and such, so uh, I thought I would offer those up as well, so you can get the uh, saved games from all my Let's Plays. Uh, however, some of them had so many mods and things like that, I'm kickstarting it with this USA series. If I can get some of the other series, maybe the Nordic one, uh, one of those saved games available, I will. Uh, but I'm excited, so let's hop away. Let's look at some of the mods I do have on this game. I'd like to hear more from what you guys would like as far as some more mods. And then, uh, yeah, kick started. Here it is, USA. Next episode, we will really jump into it. Uh, I'm going to have all the goods work already laid out as far as the initial money. I'm probably going to work my way south to north. And uh, around 1856, when the General comes out, which is one of the uh, bigger engines... Uh, I'm going to be starting a multi-use train. It's going to be for my uh, coal, iron, or goods line. Uh, so I'm going to be using all those cars on one train. And uh, I don't do it too often. Uh, this game's not really built so much for multi-use trains. Uh, but we're going to make it work, and we're going to test it out. So check out these mods, and I will see you guys next time. We'll probably jump back in here real quick. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit of a teaser after I show you these mods, so I'll see you soon. Alright, so here we are in the menu. I kind of wanted to hop back to this compared to starting with it, uh, and just show you the mods that I have active at the moment. Now, if you guys know some mods that go well with the USA DLC only, I don't want to be throwing other stuff in here too much, uh, that doesn't affect the game too much if I add it later on, feel free to post and let me know, uh, but I'm going kind of minimal. 
I added no farmlands, which looks really good with the special map that I'm using for the true west, which is the Grand Canyon. No cash register sounds, just because they get annoying. The Wild West score. This is fun and I highly recommend it. It's just a soundtrack of some old sim games and some cool stuff. Uh, it's all cool to be playing. Uh, so I'll have probably some of that playing in the background. And then also the True West Town names, because why not? Uh, so great work on this mod, capturing the maps. I'm just playing it, so thanks to all the modders who do all the, the good work on this. But this time we're playing the official USA DLC, so let's get back into the game and back to it. So hello everybody, and we are back, and this is a look into the actual game that I'm going to be doing the Let's Play. And I've found myself in what I'm seeing is the bottom left, it's Tallahassee, it's the only bit of green <laughs> that I could find on the map. And don't forget with this new update there's some cool things such as adding trees and the rocks seem to be working just fine as long as I don't put it in a collision area. I can add rocks and all kinds of cool stuff. But enough with being distracted by telephone poles and things of the like. Ooh, that's a cool little building. That's a that's one of those distracting things. And uh, yeah, so Tallahassee, down here, is a little green. Other than that, no farmland, no nothing. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what did you guys get going since I put up the save game for the first five years. Like what I do to start making money, if we look at my finances, I, I had spent a lot. But I'm making about half a million in uh, 1853, which is completely over, so that's a full year. Uh, mainly all road income. I don't have a train yet, so I don't start with trains, and I went all goods. So Tallahassee is being supplied with some oil. So that's what I've done right here, which I could put some more trucks, as you can see. It looks like we're hurting in Tallahassee oil for Baton Rouge. And that's a whole other story. Baton Rouge is the other city where I have a good thing of goods going. Now, what I've done here, let me bring up the goods, the cargo, is we have this high point forest. Now, the high point forest is now supplying the Sunnyvale Sawmill, Sunnyvale, in wonderful California. Now, yes, this sawmill right here is supplying Sunnyvale. It's supplying high point and it is supplying Baton Rouge. So I always love it when I can get one factory to supply at least three cities. That does well for the profits. Now, what else do we have? That's all just craziness going on on its own. Like I said, I'm gonna start down at this end and move our way up. Uh, Springfield is the other massive, massive, massive good cool place. Now the Springfield Forest already, production 55, limit 100. And this is going crazy because it's supplying two factories. Uh, this factory over here, and I call them factories, but sawmill, you know what I mean, the goods maker. Uh, it's supplying this, which is uh, supplying Murita, Murita. And Oakland over here and San Jose and Springfield are all being supplied by the San Jose sawmill. So things are going good. What I'm going to be doing, and what I'm going to be kickstarting for our next episode, first of the next, uh, the first real full let's build, let's play in the USA, Wichita Falls. I want to build a multi-use train that gets iron ore, it gets coal, and then it will pick up the goods and bring the goods back to drop them off for Wichita Falls. So I want a single train with the general, so I want to wait until 1856, get my money built up a little bit. And we will build a train, I'm thinking two cars of each, what do you think? Two goods, two iron ore, and two coal, one train, boom, 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 boom. I think that'll make me money. I'll probably put a uh, truck line to deliver the goods. So it'll be one track and the goods will get dropped off back somewhere about here. But that's planning for next time. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know on my Facebook page, in the, the group page. All the links are below. 
uh, what you what you're doing. Maybe hit me up with some pictures, and uh, I'd love to see how you guys set up your maps. And remember, you can get the save game or use the map seed key. And I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thumbs up. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.